With the Switch 2 right around the corner, it's safe to say that we'll see a new console this year. But what features will it have? Well, in this video, I'm going to share my top 10 features that I want the Switch 2 to have. You ready? Let's get into it. Now the first feature I want the Switch 2 to have is more themes. The current Switch only has two themes, light mode and dark mode, which is pathetic. The 3DS had so many more themes that were distinct from one another. It's such a shame that they were removed from the Switch. I think being able to customize it more, it will feel like it's your own Switch. Nintendo could even implement a system where you can get screenshots from the album and place them as backgrounds. Being able to buy themes with platinum points you could earn is also amazing. Maybe even make them buyable with golden points, I don't know, but it'd be cool to see themes on the Switch. The next feature I want kinda goes with themes and it's unique home menu music. Certain themes would play a certain music, like the 3DS. However, I think there should be a default theme like the Wii or the Wii U. This would make browsing the home menu looking for a game a lot more enjoyable. It would also be cool if you could mix and match music with themes, and the music selection would kinda look like the music menu from Smash Ultimate. And again, like themes, it'd be cool if you could purchase songs using platinum points or gold points. And now the obvious one, backwards compatibility with Switch games. Why would they release a remake of one of the best RPGs, a brand new 2D Mario game, a remake of another RPG and also Mario vs Donkey Kong, and release a new console without backwards compatibility? I kinda doubt that they wouldn't have backwards compatibility because of what I mentioned before. I hope it's integrated into the next console and not a separate menu like the Wii U being backwards compatible with the Wii. I wish it was fluently backwards compatible like the 3DS being backwards compatible with the DS. Hopefully we don't move to discs. The next feature I doubt will happen, but I want to see a virtual console on the Switch. I hate Nintendo Switch Online. The online is absolutely awful and the game service is terrible. But that's another video for another day, coming soon. Virtual console on the Switch would be amazing. Even if they didn't add GameCube, DS, Wii, Wii U, and 3DS, it would still be awesome. Instead of paying 20 or 50 bucks a year for a random mix of titles, most of them being garbage, you could pay 5, 7, 10, 15, or even 20 bucks for games you actually want to play. And it'll all be permanent. The games won't disappear after the service shuts down like Switch Online. These games will be on your console for as long as it's around and help preserve these old games. Speaking of the eShop, I want to see an eShop upgrade. Be honest, the Switch eShop is kind of garbage. It's really laggy, bland, and just not fun to browse through. The Wii U and 3DS eShops were so much fun to browse through, and they had their own life to them. Trying to find a game to purchase was always awesome, but it's just not enjoyable on the Switch. So for the Switch 2, or the next console, I want them to fix the imperfections. Make it a lot less laggy, add better categories, make it look nicer, some music, and a virtual console category. For me, the lag and overall clunkiness is a huge issue, so seeing it fixed would be awesome. The next feature is folders. Not the stupid groups we have now, actual folders. It'd be cool to hold ZL and ZR to drag game icons into custom folders, or just reorder them, kinda like Switch Online. Being able to swap the color of the folders and rename them would be nice features, like the 3DS and Wii U. I don't really expect this feature to happen, but it'd be a nice quality of life feature for the next console. This one is far-fetched, but seeing achievements would be really cool. Whenever you buy a game, the game could have a set amount of achievements, kinda like Gamerscore on Xbox. Completing these achievements would award you platinum points, or maybe even exclusive rewards like icons. Even if it functioned differently, I'd like to see a system like this. It would give more of an incentive to fully play through a game and max out your achievement score. It also encouraged people to go back to their older games and play them.
This next feature is more of a nitpick, but I want to see online that actually works. Be honest, the only games with online that actually works is Mario Kart and Splatoon 2. Most of the time. Ever tried to play Mario Maker 2 online? Smash Bros? Hell, even Splatoon 3, the online doesn't work. Whenever I play Splatoon, every 4 matches I get an error, or it's very laggy. Mario Maker 2 is literally unplayable. The offers are absolutely atrocious. You are paying 20 to 50 bucks a year for this. Going back on topic, I want to see a better online system than whatever this is, or just make it free. Now this feature is pretty much a necessity, the ability to play modern games. Have you ever tried to play a modern game, or even a game like Minecraft on the Switch? At times, it sounds like my Switch is going to catch on fire and explode into a million pieces. The game chugs most of the time. I want to see a huge performance upgrade for the next console. Even if it isn't as powerful as say the PS5 or Xbox, at least make it run this generation of games, because the Switch is basically a 7 year old toaster at this point, and we need an upgrade on Nintendo's firmware. It always bugged me that Nintendo seems to be behind on the latest technology, and I hope this next gen console will actually put them on par with the latest consoles. And finally, Joy-Cons that don't drift. Hopefully we are getting a bigger screen so we can have new detachable controllers, and hopefully Joy-Cons will still be usable via Bluetooth, but I want to see brand new ones. Make them bigger to fit the console, and also make them have grips or something. My hands tend to cramp up after playing handheld for a while, so having little indents in them would help a lot. Maybe add analog triggers, but I'm not picky, I just want an upgrade. And please get rid of drift, it is so annoying having to send my Joy-Cons to Nintendo every 6 months. So, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, drop a like and subscribe, and comment your favorite part of the video. I'm going to try to do top 10s more, because they're very fun to make. If you want to see videos like this early, you can become a channel member for as low as 99 cents. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.